Hey everybody, Clint Hall with Alternative Athletics here, and I've been having a hard time solidifying my thoughts around an idea, let's say modern interpretation of chivalry. So for people who aren't necessarily interested in the medieval era or don't have a, a solid grasp on what chivalry is, chivalry is the idea that you are taking care of somebody who is not in a position to take care of themselves. So whether that's a king or a lord or a knight taking care of his retainers and those below him, a person in the prime of their life taking care of the elderly, the sick, or the young, infirm in any way. A lot of people feel that this is a very masculine, possibly toxic idea. The more I think about it, the more that I think the modern interpretation is extremely relevant to today. Here's where I'm going with this. So we have all of these devices in our life. I've watched the email come about. There was a time in my life where we used to have to print off email and mail it to somebody because not everybody had access to the internet. Um, and then I bought my first phone around the same time I bought my first house. And texting was very complicated where you had to hit buttons multiple times. There wasn't the ability to swipe. And as we get the ability to talk to each other more and communicate more before when we didn't have this connection and the ability to communicate with each other, if you saw a car on the side of the road, you stopped. You wanted to see if they needed a ride, if they needed a push, if they needed a jump. Now we fly by that car on the side of the road because we're so busy and that person probably has their own way to communicate with whoever they need to to help them out. And what if it is some poor guy who doesn't have AAA and he's traveling across country and his car breaks down? There's no way for us to know that unless we stop. But the assumption is 95% of the time, that guy has the access to help themselves. So my modern interpretation of chivalry is self-reliance. No longer relying on somebody else, but making the effort to help yourself. But on top of that, encouraging others to develop the ability to help themselves. For Montana, where we have to shovel our driveways and our sidewalks, and you do so to make it so that your neighbors can walk in front of your house, or that you can get out of your driveway, because if you wait and it snows three times, you're gonna get stuck. Um, there might not be somebody, a neighbor, or a child, or a snow removal service that you can afford that can come shovel your walk, or push your car out of the ditch, or what have you. Or maybe you just gotta, like, you're not strong enough to push the car out of the ditch, but you know you can walk the four miles to the next farmstead light road until somebody sees you walking and decides to stop because it's 20 below. And I think that as life gets easier and we get more reliant on stuff, we are also becoming weaker and more susceptible to the emergencies when they happen because they happen less frequently. Consider chivalry not dead, but consider it in yourself to try and encourage others to develop the ability to be self-reliant. So chivalry is no longer, I'm gonna take care of you because the next time this happens, I might not be able to take care of you because I'm somewhere else. But instead, hey, why don't you come to the gym with me? Why don't you learn this martial art? Why don't we learn how to fix our own car? Let me show you how to look something up on the internet so that you can find information and consider that the new chivalry. Just some thoughts.